first impressions of the Soft Glam Palette from Anastasia Beverly Hills. I got a lot of Anastasia Beverly Hills stuff to do. The foundation, contour and highlight palette, the Norvina palette. Maybe I should just do a video where I'll just do a full face using only Anastasia Beverly Hills stuff, you know? Even though I don't have powder contour or loose powder from her. It's gonna work. Personally, I hope I can do this so that you can see it. I just need to a nice kick. A powder from a palette and just dust it under my eyes there. Can you see it? Because I can't. I don't have my glasses on. I just want to put some powder down there, you know. Just to make sure that if there's any fallout that it doesn't fall down there. Okay. Oh, and here's the palette. It's so fierce. Just gonna take this little sticker off the packaging here, off the mirror. Just a little, it's just her logo. I have a bunch of foundation on my hand. Good God. Yeah, just gonna take the brush out. I just got like a whole bunch of concealer on here. So here's the brush, it's the same as the other palette. Like literally, it's the same brush. So, okay, I think you'll be able to see if I do it like this. What palette, what color should I go into? Rustic, burnt orange, orange soda. I wanna go into the shade called Orange Soda right here. So just taking the blendy part of the brush. Damn, fallout. And let's make sure that you can see this. I can zoom it on myself when I'm in editing, but still. So I'll just taking that in my crease. I kind of want to do a halo eye because I haven't done one of those in a while. And I've mostly just been doing like where I have my eyelid open. Just want to do something a little different than what I've been doing lately. You know? Because usually all my looks kind of look the same. Like when I do my everyday makeup, I usually use the Modern Renaissance palette. Cause I love that palette. I'm next gonna go into Rustic here. Ooh, barely any fallout with that one. To everyone who has Anastasia Beverly Hills stuff, what is your favorite palette that you have? Like if you had to pick between your, like if you have multiple like I do, like literally you can see the Norvina literally sitting right there. Like, if you have multiples like I do, then yeah, I want to know your personal, I want to know, you know, what's your favorite palette? But if you don't have one and you plan on getting one, which one do you personally think you'll get? Because if you watched my last haul video, you've seen that I got a lot of Anastasia Beverly Hills stuff. I have a lot of videos ready to go, but I don't like, I just don't want to upload like five videos all in one day. I'm going to use a different blending brush because this eye is looking a lot darker than the other eye. So taking this brush by Farah, I'm going to go back into it with that bigger brush on this eye. I haven't really touched a lot of my brush blending, other blending brushes. I've just been using the Morphe one. Playing loud, obnoxious music. Okay, that's looking hot. I'm gonna go back in with this brush. I'm gonna go into Mulberry here next because it's a nice reddish shade. I have so many palettes. I should do an updated makeup collection video. <laughs> I'm just taking that right from the out this corner right here to right here. I'm kind of sad that my brows collector video series is kind of done now. I just got to upload Cameron's video. 
because like I love reviewing the dolls. I love reviewing Bratz dolls. I love getting new dolls. I love getting them in hauls or bundles, you know? Like it's fierce. I'm just blending. There's like five glitters in here and I don't know which one I'm going to go into. But I'm gonna take this brush and go into Tempera, which is the theme in the other, the modern renaissance as well. It's a nice white. This one feels more pigmented, or maybe because I'm using a different brush. I'm just gonna use it as well on the outer half of my eye. I'm gonna take that a little bit down my nose as well. My skin texture is literally popping through my foundation. You can't see it on camera that well, but I'm not zooming in. But like right here-ish, there's texture popping through. Rose pink or sultry, which color do I wanna go into? I'm gonna go into sultry. Yeah, sultry is this one right here. Oh, it's kind of a brownish glitter. Like a brownish, reddish glitter. Okay, I actually really like that. It's like, it's smoky. Like it's looking smoky and brown and that red is just making it pop out. But I kind of want, I want to highlight my inner corner. So I'm taking the flat end and I'm going to go into fairy here. Nice light golden shade. in my inner corner. I'm just gonna add some light there. I'm gonna drag it a little bit under my eyes as well. And then I'm gonna go back into orange soda with the blending sod and just take it right under that. And it'll also cancel out like my under eye circles, which has been weird because I've been getting a lot of sleep lately. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at that. That is so fierce. I will be doing my eyeliner and putting on lashes in a second. But I also want to go into the lipstick called Soft Touch. Because look at that nude. Look at that nude. That nude is fierce, 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 fierce. And just, you know. Kind of put it on. Literally the epitome of nude. Then nudes. And by that, I mean nude lipstick. Just gonna do one last bounce. Cause I just love using an, a real beauty blender. But I'm gonna go put on my liner and my lashes. And I'll be right back with my final result. So I am back with a final look. I just put on some highlight. We're not talking about it. Talk about the soft glam. So personally, I really like how this look came out. I was originally going for something else and I did a smoky eye and it came out pretty fierce and I'm getting hair all over my face. Yes, what am I giving the soft glam? She's soft, she's glam. I loves it. She getting a 10. Cause she fierce. Oh, I gotta set her. I gotta set this down. And that's the Wet n Wild Natural Finish Setting Spray. I don't think I talked about that. I only do hauls if I buy things like in bulk. <laughs> Anyways, yes. I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please leave me a like, a beautifully written comment, and of course subscribe for more future content. Thanks for coming, and I'll see you next time. Bye!